Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Greetings. And welcome. My beautiful beings of light. The light is coming in faster and faster waves, pulling forward with it a gift of the Creator's divine grace. The energies are intense my beloveds but you are witnessing changes that many thought never before were possible. You are learning or remembering that change is constant. What you believed yesterday as your truth may not be the same truth that you will profess tomorrow and that is as it should be my divine beings of light. You are growing and evolving much more quickly than you ever realized. My beautiful beings of grace things that were unseen and hidden are now coming into the light to be healed and revealed. This trend will be carried forward with more and more becoming visible for the next decade or more for those that are requiring a linear timeline, however as has been said for a while now, linear time is fading away. Duality in due course will also dissolve away, as the earth plane has learned these lessons and comparisons. The upward spiral of this planet, will in divine timing, be assigned a new divine purpose. My beloveds the Creator is not ready for that to be revealed at this moment and now. More and more are awakening and finding themselves in confusion and some may even sense a little panic. Please be compassionate to all, all need prayers for benevolent outcomes and unconditional love. The most powerful active prayers my beloveds are those that incorporate the request to release the expectation and pass whatever the request is for, on to the Creator for a benevolent outcome in whatever is for the highest good of all concerned. Perhaps this method of quantum prayer may be new to you. If you are praying with laundry lists, demands, and outcomes my beloveds try the quantum prayer approach and sense the difference. This is not to say my beautiful beings of light that you should not pour out your feelings to the Creator. What is being suggested is that you pour our whatever needs to be shared and then hand the problem or issue over to the Creator for the highest and most benevolent outcome of all. The Creator is all-knowing and has all the information relative to all of the contracts, agreements, and concerns. The Creator has the master blueprint that was agreed to and therefore has the most comprehensive vision of how all these pieces fit together. When using quantum prayer, place your intent to have the most benevolent highest outcome and for the highest good of all included. In your prayer feel the feelings intensely as if the benevolent outcome has already been accomplished. This is an example for you my beloveds, say that you have a very close dear aunt that is critically ill lying in a hospital bed. Close your eyes for a moment and say something like this, My Creator I love this aunt with all my heart and all of our family feels the same way. She will be so missed because we love her so much but my Creator I understand that she is living out her life plan and contracts that she created before she incarnated into this lifetime. My Creator I am handing my feelings and concerns for her over to you my Creator and ask for whatever is for her benevolent outcome and highest good knowing that my Creator that she has always been in your care and surrounded at all time with your unconditional love. She is your child my Creator and you know what her lesson plan holds along with the dates that she selected to leave the earth plane. I pray for her highest good and benevolent outcome. Amen and so it is. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey to practice with like-minded others on a very large globe appeal. Sit in a chair or lie down whichever is your preference. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in-breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out-breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustrations, and doubts. With the last out-breath feel your body relaxing. Allow and give yourself permission to feel the calm, peace, and serenity of this safe place. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. Through prayer to the Creator please ask the Creator to share with you a translucent golden shield of light. Visualize it all around you forming a bubble from head to toe protecting you from all outside influences and giving you warmth, radiance, light, and power. Negatives will simply bounce harmlessly off your shield of protective light. My beloveds, the Creator has responded to your prayer. Your protective bubble has been supplied. The energies for this bubble will continue to flow from the Creator, cycling back down through you again, 
and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing, and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Your angels hand you a pair of hiking boots, sun hat and outdoor clothes as they direct you to the changing room around the corner. You think to yourself, that you always love the adventures that the angels guide you on, as you quickly change your clothes. You look in the mirror and the jeans fit perfectly as do all the clothes. You tell yourself isn't it amazing that the angels can fit you in clothes and you can't even find anything that fits you in stores as you laugh softly to yourself. You come out and your angels walk with you down the corridor to the 133 road door to your left. The label on the door says Mountain Trail. You open the door and cross over the threshold and just looking around you determine that there is still another door to actually exit through in order to be in the forest area. You open the second door and there you are standing in the middle of the breathtaking woods. Your angels have you look around a bit and you walk over and put your hand on that large old oak tree to your right. To your amusement and amazement the oak tree says hello. You almost jump because you really weren't expecting the tree to speak. The oak tree laughs and tells you why not, since every time you come on one of these inner journeys you find that everything has consciousness and life just like you do, as the tree smiles. The tree introduces itself as George. The tree continues chatting and says you always discover things here that you thought were just myths. You laugh as well and do agree that it is always fun to come on these adventures. Your angels of course are watching this interaction and are just rolling in laughter. The angels begin by showing you the mountain path that you will be walking on today. The climb appears a little challenging but your angels rally behind you and tell you to start and that you will be surprised at how simple and easy this will be once you take the first steps on the path. You smile and take that step and to your amazement you are actually floating up the path. You begin noticing all the wonderful flowers and various tree species on this trail along with all the wildlife. You mention to your angels that you've never seen any of these in the physical realm. You also mention that you are seeing and experiencing colors that you have never seen in the physical before as well. Your angels just smile and nod their heads and tell you that is part of the fun of visiting the higher dimensions, many things you see and experience here simply cannot tolerate the lower vibrational range of the earth plane. You seem to connect with that statement and have a brief awe. Ha! Huh moment as you realize that you are this higher spiritual essence having a human experience. The angels are delighted that you have connected that dot it will help you even more when you reach the ridge where you will be working today with a gathering of like-minded souls. You are excited to meet up with the others that are on this journey today and begin floating a little faster. You reach the ridge and notice that all the others are all there waiting on you. They are sitting around a campfire having hot chocolate together. You begin to count but the numbers are so large that you can't even fathom how many people are really there, all peacefully seated waiting on your to join them. They see you approach and each one simultaneously shoots out welcome we have been waiting on you. You sit in a spot that someone has saved for you and are welcomed further with a cup of hot chocolate. Sipping the warm beverage you tell your angels that even the hot chocolate is so much better here, laughing. Your angels share with you that there are hundreds of thousands here all with the same purpose and vision today. The angels go to the center of the gathering and welcome everyone for coming. 
The angels instruct everyone to join hands and begin by closing your eyes and taking some slow very deep breaths in and out to center yourselves. Now with the perfect pitch that angels are so talented at projecting, they instruct everyone to sound the opening message to the Creator which is OM. Everyone begins with the OM sound and interestingly enough it feels like everyone is projecting this sound out into the ethers right on the same musical key, wow. You tell your angels telepathically that is amazing. The OM continues for another three moments and then the next instruction is provided. The angels now ask everyone to repeat this quantum prayer together and so it begins, Our Creator we are gathered here and ask to be of the highest level of performance at this moment and now in service to our dear Mother Earth. We ask to be clear channels for your beautiful divine grace, love and peace, to all on and within the earth plane, within and without on all levels, dimensions and aspects including every bit and particle of matter. We wish to honor all with your vision of divine grace, love and peace and pray for a benevolent outcome and for the highest good of all at this moment and now. We hold our hands up with palms facing out projecting the blessings that are being channeled through us at this moment for the benefit of all and the benevolent outcome for all on the earth plane. We thank you for these blessings OM and so it is. Each follows along seamlessly and you can sense the combined concentration and focus of this group that is divinely intertwined and in perfect sync. You can sense the energy and intent of this gathered group and it is pure divine love. You feel the channeled energy blessings passing through your hands out into the ethers going to exactly where they are supposed to go. The color you are associating with this energy is pure divine gold. Mother Earth is acknowledging the receipt of these blessings and is sending back a tone that can be heard telepathically by each participant thanking them for their efforts. You can almost feel Mother Earth shifting her vibration upward as the intent is accepted and honored. As her vibration rises so does every other vibration on the earth plane rise. The Creator sends forth a special blessing and a gift for each participate. The gift is a golden flame with the perpetual sound of OM emanating from it. This flame is located in each heart chakra of those participating. Feel the warmth as the gift is placed in your heart chakra by the Creator. You look around and each person is glowing from all the higher vibrational energy that has been passing through them. The angels now guide everyone to a close, by relaying the Creator's deepest thanks for the perfect execution of this special event. The angels do request that this group gather periodically to provide follow-through on what has been started. Everyone agrees and each hugs those around them as they disperse. The angels lead you back down the path and the angels tell you that this gathering size will exponentially grow each time you meet to perform this service. You feel such happiness to have been able to be of service in this way. You find yourself back next to George, the old oak tree. George tells you good job. You touch George's bark softly and tell him goodbye until next time. You instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor you quickly change clothes. As you whisk by the mirror you catch a glimpse of your golden glowing essence. You feel the warmth of that golden flame in your heart and hear the OM softly in your spiritual ears. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure, more than any earth plain language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace, and grace.